And now, your Storm Shield forecast with NBC26 Chief Meteorologist Cameron Moreland. Temperatures away from Lake Michigan climbed into the mid and upper 60s today, and that was warm enough to tie a record high that was established back in 1953. That is now the fourth time this month that we have either broken or tied a record high here in Northeast Wisconsin. And with highs in the 60s today, we have now had 12 days with highs at or above 60 degrees this November. That is the most on record. And that record will hold because there are no more 60s on the way as we wrap up the month. Here's a look at your seven day temperature trend. Yes, it's going to seem a lot colder as we move through the next week or so, but this is actually where we should be for this time of year. Well, after highs in the 60s earlier today, we now have cold air wrapping in from the south and west. Temperatures are still in the mid 50s here north and east of Green Bay, but we're looking at mid 40s south and west of the Fox Cities. Currently in Green Bay, the temperature is 51 with southwest winds gusting to around 40 miles per hour. In Appleton, the temperature has dropped to 46 with southwest winds gusting between 30 and 40 miles per hour. Lots of clouds, a little bit of sunshine today, and just a few isolated showers and sprinkles. Most of us did not see anything, but they saw a whole lot of something out to our west, and that was snow. Some spots in Minnesota picking up 12 to 18 inches of snow. We still have blizzard warnings here north and west of the Twin Cities. Across far northern Wisconsin and the UP, we have winter weather advisories and winter storm warnings mornings because we're going to see some lake effect snow develop later on tonight into tomorrow morning as the first big storm of the fall slash winter makes its way across the upper Midwest. Ahead of it today, temperatures were very warm up into the 60s. Behind it, it felt like November with highs only in the 30s to around 40 degrees and that colder weather is now funneling into northeast Wisconsin on strong southwest winds that will turn to the west and then to the north and west as we head through tomorrow. Those winds will gust over 45 miles per hour at times and that's why we have a wind advisory in place. You can see that colder weather moving in throughout the nighttime hours. High temperatures tomorrow will be a good 30 to 35 degrees colder than what we we saw today, so tomorrow will not be the 23rd straight day with above normal high temperatures. That warm streak is coming to an end. Not only that, but as that system lifts to the north, we'll have the chance for some snow showers or flurries later on tonight. If that snow does materialize, we will see our latest first flakes since December 14th, 1999. That's pretty significant. Last year we had our first snow on October 29th. Now, if you're hitting the woods tomorrow for the uh, gun deer season opener, you can expect that chance for a few snowflakes. The big story will be that northwest wind at around 25 to 35 miles per hour. When you combine the wind with highs only in the 30s, we're going to be looking at wind chills tomorrow down into the teens and 20s. On Sunday, still windy, just not as windy, and we'll see a lot of sunshine. Sunrise temperatures will be close to 20. By the early afternoon, we'll see lower to mid 30s. So your forecast for tonight calls for windy and colder conditions with some rain snow showers uh, eventually kicking in as we head throughout the night. We'll see those west winds at around 20 to 30 miles per hour tomorrow. Windy and colder, a couple of snowflakes. High temperatures will be in the 30s. If you're going to the Green Bay Holiday Parade tomorrow morning, it's going to be windy and cold. Temperatures will be in the 30s, but maybe it'll snow if we're lucky. That'll uh, make it feel very festive out there. Colder weather for Sunday, Monday, and Tuesday for the downtown Appleton Christmas Parade. We could see a light mix move in. A better chance Tuesday night into Wednesday. Thanksgiving right now looks dry with a mixture of sun and clouds, maybe a flurry. Temperatures will be in the upper 30s to lower 40s. And real quickly, the Packers can expect lower 40s and gusty winds in Landover, Maryland at kickoff on Sunday. So kind of similar to what we're experiencing. Yeah, here. it's the same storm. Mm -hmm. The winds that we're seeing right now will be in the D.C. area Sunday. Could make for an interesting football game. Oh, yeah, it could. <laughs> All right, thanks, Cameron. And a reminder, please join NBC 26 tomorrow for the 33rd annual Prevea Green Bay Holiday Parade. We'll be broadcasting live from downtown starting at 10 a.m. For more information,